Hi right, guys, welcome to my channel. Rise up, be me. Body, mind, energy, healing. It's what's needed in a world that is crumbling beyond words now. Over the years, not sure what was going on, but now I hope you do understand what is going on. And of course, the world has been completely controlled. You've been controlled. I was controlled. And I think this is why my soul came in and said, fed up with being a human being, because human being doesn't mean anything. It's, it's got no true identity to what it is. I just want to read you something. Today I was looking through some of my books, some of my writings, and it's, and it's interesting to understand the difference between Trevor Owsley and the soul or the spirit of me that channels a completely different idea of who I am. And I think this is the biggest trick. I think the human being is definitely a trick. And once you resolve that human being, up comes your higher self. And I know a lot of people out there, you know, they ask me, well, how do I discover my human, uh, my higher self? And I say, you've got to get rid of the human being. And it's as simple as that. But something really struck a chord with me today. I'm just going to read it out to you. And um, it's all about love. But this is what I love. We're all made from the cosmic intelligence that is basically made all the planets that have been in complete harmony with each other. Remember, you are an instrument of great magical combinations of atoms and cells that gather at great speeds to shape who you are. And when you start to understand the vibration of love in comparison to the vibration of depression, it gives you a good scale to work with, just like musical notes, really. You have the deep end of the scale and you have the high end of the scale. But all notes are important in playing your tune to life. I think this is the most important part of what it is that I'm trying to say. Your material world and your spiritual world is important. You've got the lower self, you've got the higher self. The lower notes, the higher notes. The lower vibration, the higher vibration. That's why we want love, isn't it? Because it's a higher vibration. But you need all notes to make a tune. Low notes and high notes. And to make the journey of life, you need the low notes and the high notes. Which means to say, you need the bad times. And of course, you need the good times. The good times, we would all love to see a little bit more of, wouldn't we? But the bad times, we try to disrespect. We just try to put it on one side. We try to deny that that's what life is all about. Now, the biggest trick for me was trying to believe that life was fantastic. It was wonderful. It was beautiful. And all human beings were good. Kind of gone beyond that now in a sense because there's a big denial there that i thought everything was good it's not good so when you do awaken you start to see that everything is bad and when you start seeing everything as being bad of course it's going to internally affect you and so therefore you feel the process which happens to drop down your level of vibration what this planet of darkness does is that it feeds you fear because they don't want you in high vibration. It's like when the summer comes, isn't it? Everyone starts to feel good and they don't want to go to work. They don't want to do anything. They want to go out and they want to be out in the sun. Getting back to the chemtrails, to me, that's all about blocking out the sun. What are they doing? But have you not noticed that they've stopped the chemtrails since the pandemic? But here's the thing. What we've got going on here is you've got to realise this, that your 
presidents, your politicians, the people that are in control, the people that read these books that go to university, what are they learning? Because it's completely different to what you've learned. And so therefore, they have certain knowledge that us, the poor, don't have. And that's the thing that I discovered, that what they don't have is a form of spirituality. Everything that they do is just purely based on materiality, which means they use us to get what they want. So they use us for their agenda to create things between other countries. Now we're looking at a world at this moment where we are losing control. Over the years, I didn't know why I was being pulled out of the material story. But now I understand completely why I've been pulled out of the material story because I would hate to be in that fear of, oh my God, what's going to happen? Where's this all going? What am I going to do? And so forth. For me, that fear disappears because I'm seeing things in a completely different way. And once you can see the bullshit, then you can understand not to absorb the bullshit with inside of yourself. And the most important thing about when you do awaken is that you will start to realise the people that you have known for such a long time, have you not noticed the way they speak? There's something there that is like bullshit. Something there that, wow, okay, I thought you was a little bit more intelligent or I thought you was a little bit more hip, cool and trendy, let's say. But you're not. You're just an idiot. And so therefore, you start to lose the conversation with that person. This is a big thing that's going on, because here's the thing. We've all been led to believe you're useless, right? Your intelligence is useless, because they base intelligence upon what you have learnt. And what have you learned that fits into society? But pure intelligence is know thyself. Once you know thyself, you will get in connection with your own intelligence. So when I go through my books that I've written because I was seeking, searching, trying to understand what was going on within me, I didn't realise at the time what I was writing because what was being written was coming from a higher level, a different source, a, a higher self of being. And it is a being that you kind of don't know. It's almost like finding your voice and then all of a sudden you can really sing high. And you thought, oh my God, I thought I was, you know, could only sing the low notes. But now all of a sudden I found the power of the voice. And you've heard many people turn around and say, you know, I found the power of my voice. Singers train to get their voice to reach certain notes. When working in your awakening or the dark night of the soul, what you're trying to do is to establish a vocabulary between your body, mind and energy. And this is why I formulated ICB me. 12 I words, 12 C words and 12 B me sayings or 12 B me words. Put them together, I see, be me beings. So therefore, I see no separation between me and you, girl and boy, colour, race and so forth. There is no difference. I can only see you as a be me being. I see the body, I understand your mind and of course I can read the energy of what your body and what your mind is saying. The soul. We've heard of many people talk about the soul, but to me it's a sign of universal language. Once you know that there is a sign of universal language, because if you not notice when you're traveling and you're awakening, there's certain things that happen. You may be receiving signs or symbols or strange chapters in your life where it's like, oh my God, how that is flipping from that and flipping into this and oh my God, I just don't know what's happening kind of sends you a little bit crazy really and it's very difficult to explain to somebody what's happening but I used to see life in chapters you know, I saw the beginning of the chapter the middle of the chapter and the end of the chapter and then once I knew that was the end of the chapter a new chapter would begin 
So my soul was teaching me a completely different journey. Now, the problem with the world, we've all lost control, right? But what I realised is, is that the soul has always been in control. But it's trying to understand that soul of where it's going and what is it doing. And here's the thing. You've just got to remember this, that the soul is here to establish love within itself. Once it establishes love within itself, it starts to love life. And that's how you start to love life, because now the soul is teaching you about the true meaning of love. So your forefathers that were here before you have left messages within you. But the messages can also be of fears, phobias. So when you've got people that are going through phobias and they can't explain why they're going through them phobias, they're not yours. They've come from somewhere in the family that has got you to have a phobia about something. I mean, it could be dogs, it could be flying, it could be spiders, snakes, whatever it is. You know, there's an intense fear. But where does that intense fear come from? You know, you could have somebody in your family that got bit by a snake somewhere, somehow. And, and so therefore, you carry that on. But within the soul, that soul is still connected to your spirit family because the soul and spirit is different. The soul is within you now. The spirit is what you become once you leave this five sense realm when the body falls away. That becomes the spirit of. The spirit of then connects in with all the souls throughout your family because you're the head of your lineage. I thought spirituality was psychic, medium, clairvoyant, Reiki, meditation, yoga, you know, all of these things that we call spirituality. In actual fact, none of them are actually spirituality. It's a, a form of a human being becoming a little bit nicer than it is. True spirituality is knowing that there is... You're kind of dead, really, to this physical world, but you live in this physical world. So how many of you out there kind of feel dead to this physical world? If you can understand what I'm saying then the reason why you feel dead to this physical world is because you're seeing things from the aspect of spirit. So I always say to people, old be me self, new be me self. You've heard me say it. New be me self is the spirit of. Old be me self carries all the energy, all the dramas and all the emotions. But it's nice for me at the time to be able to switch between the two. So I can be in my spiritual self, I can be in my material old be me self. So when I'm writing or I'm putting down a problem that I want to channel the answer for, the Trevor in me has the problem. I write down that problem, but then it's the higher self of me that gives me the answer. But here's the thing. It takes time for you to realize what it is that you've written. So when you write things and you do your shadow book, just put it away. Just keep writing in it, but don't keep reading over it. And what I discovered is, just like what I've discovered today, I've picked up one of these books that I've written 10 years ago, and I read through it, and I think, oh, my God, you know, I didn't know I could write like that, because technically, Trevor Isley cannot write. He doesn't know where full stops go. But the higher self of me knows exactly how to write. But that higher self, again, is still not interested in where the full stops go. That's just grammar. But what's important is the higher self talks about what the message is, whereas the human self talks about what the problem is. So you've got the problem, then you've got the reaction of where you go to, so that could be depression, and then you've got the solution, or solution, S-O-U-L-U-T-I-O-N, solution. So there's always a solution to the human problem, and this is what BME is. It's about understanding your body, your mind, and your energy, and your energy is connected to everything because your energy never dies but the body and the mind can deteriorate. But your energy is always there from this life and into the next life because that's what spirit is. Spirit is energy. And that energy is obviously transparent. But once you get good at channeling 
then you start to understand how your body changes from your material human self into your higher self, spiritual self. There's a switch. You can feel the switch. You can feel the energy change. But once you get used to that, you can turn around and say, okay, today I'm in my lower self, human, and today I'm going to be in my higher self, that's my spiritual self or my soulful self and that is where I gather up all my information I don't go out there and ask anyone about my information I check in to my own higher self so I suggest you carry on writing put down your problem that's human and then use your higher self to discover the solution to that problem my name is Trevor Rosley and I'll see you on the other side take care